I'm gonna react the way you guys send me. Let's watch it out. Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm gonna give Good, you my top 10 thoughts on basically Vietnam versus Cambodia. Okay. Like what I think the differences are, the big differences. Okay. And also, I have my companion Plus that I cat. met here in Cambodia, this Airbnb. I hey. make him Dave. That's so cute, man. Wave to the people. Hey! <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Number one is the roads in Vietnam are a lot crazier than in Cambodia. Now, oh. for obvious reasons, this is because Shout out to Cambodia the population in, in Vietnam this is time. so much more. There's like 75 million more people in Vietnam oh. than in Cambodia. And another reason is bikes are so cheap and they mm. recycle their bikes a lot. Like their bike will be with them for a lifetime. They'll just keep fixing it and fixing it, fixing it until <laughs> one day it just completely dies. And then they'll probably just take parts off that for their other bike. So yeah, bikes are so cheap. Number two is the cost of visiting attractions in Vietnam are so much cheaper than in Cambodia. But the only problem with Vietnam is you may go to like museums which aren't fully in English. They're only like tiny little parts in English. So you kind of mm. don't get your money's worth, but you do kind of get your money's worth here in Cambodia. If that makes sense, like the attractions aren't that good in Vietnam compared to Cambodia. So you kind so of take this, more in, in Cambodia. this part, Vietnam is fine. The museum we did actually go to in Phnom Penh wasn't actually that good. Number three, mm. the coffee comparison between Vietnam and Cambodia. There is no comparison really. Like Vietnamese coffee is amazing. It's probably the best coffee I've ever, ever had in my life. Coffee? I've even tried Seriously? like Luwak coffee and Blue Mountain coffee from Jamaica, which like they're two of the biggest in the world. So yeah, it beats that hands down. Number four, okay. Cambodians are really, really good at speaking English. Mm. What are you doing, Dave? What are you doing? That's, I really totally agree with this brother that Cambodian people are really good in English. How can I say that? Because um, this is just, I can say because of my channel is only English. Because I only speak English. I don't speak uh, Cambodian language. But so many of you guys, I mean, most of the guys you understand and you do comment. So that really approved that you guys really understand really good English. And that's really good. So in this time, Cambodia... Especially in the tourism industry, Cambodians are really good at speaking English. I would say better than the Vietnamese in the same sector. They just seem to like speak it better here. I don't know what the reason for that is. But yeah, I mean the Vietnamese... What do you want? Vietnamese are really good as well. Number five, Vietnam wins on cleanliness. In Cambodia, it's kind of still smelly and dirty and they really do have it's a because I know that they really need to some of you guys told me that it's and stuff instead of just leaving like under construction bags in the street for like the rats and stuff so yeah that's probably I'd say that's their biggest problem is like sort of cleanliness in the streets yeah. number six the people six. in both countries are equally as nice and welcoming like they're really really nice people well, of I would course. say the Vietnamese are kind of more inclined to rip you off to say a bottle of water on the side of the road or something that doesn't have like the price written down they're more inclined to sort of rip you off with that i'd say the cambodians so far seem to just be like right that's that price that's that price even though the prices aren't written down they they're not trying to rip you off number seven the food i would say vietnamese and cambodian food are equally as good they're really really tasty really really nice i would that's say good. in vietnam the food is cheaper I think that's because of the US dollar. I think like a lot of the places here have like just rounded up to the nearest dollar to make it mm. easier and to make the sort of maths a bit more simple and obviously when they give you like less than a dollar in change it's back in their currency. So I think they that's just true. kind of round that's it up which makes everything a little bit more expensive. Number eight, the beer here is so cheap in Cambodia. Like 50 cent beers are not uncommon. Hey, and you can even get who wants to buy me a beer, bro? Or who, who Vietnam, wants one beer more from expensive. me? You're kind of looking around a dollar as your sort of. You're kind of looking around 50 cents as your cheapest in Vietnam, but it's rare to find. That's like really, really local places. We found it once on our whole time there. Oh. Most of the time it's like a dollar and up. Fancier places you can sort of pay around two dollars two dollars fifty okay the last one what's this cat doing really <laughs> what are you doing you nuts 
Hey, pussy Number cat. nine is the hotels are so much better in Vietnam. You get a lot more for your money in regards to like fixtures, fittings, beds, bathroom size, size of the rooms, balconies, pools. It's a lot more for your money where than you're living, here in bro. Cambodia. Which is, I think that's just due to like population size and sort of how many hotels and stuff there are. Number 10 is the visa. The Cambodian visa was very, very easy to get on the border. Really easy. Good for me. The Vietnamese visa was a little bit more complicated. It's not too complicated for a month. You just have to like sort of get the stuff from online first from a company. It's kind of weird the way they do it, but if you go for one, you'll find out the way you do it. It's, it's safe, but it's just a weird way round of doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big yeah, thumbs bro, up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Like his video. I will give you the link down there. If you want this video or this brother, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe his channel. So let's talk about the video a little bit. The video I really got uh, fascinating. I think it was really good. He just uh, explained his um, personal experience in these two, th th these two countries because he has been there. He has visited this country. He was just sharing his... Uh, things that what was easy for him what was really uh, difficult for him in these two places so thank you so much brother I uh, really appreciate this video and those of you guys have suggested me this video because I knew a lot of things there are so many things it's not really that difference I think they are kind of same they look also alike the Vietnamese people the people of Thailand the people of Cambodia they look also the same and some good things and some bad things are uh, really happen in every country uh, in this part, he said so many good things about Cambodia, some not bad things, some uh, negative things about uh, Cambodia. He said some good side about uh, Vietnam and some bad side about Cambodia. So this is the way all countries are, even in America, no country is really complete. But the thing he said that uh, the Cambodia was kind of smelly and dirty is just because I think some of you guys told me in my previous reaction video that it's the whole country is under construction because there were some kind of uh, war or something uh, 30 40 years back and some bad things was happening over there so they are trying to reconstruct this city so it's under construction and I know when it's uh, or when some city or even a house when it's under construction it's really ours I know that and the food is awesome he said both of this country and the hotels are also good and cheap that's really good for a person who is outside of this country and who want to go there and uh, getting the visa is also easy he said so that's really good I am really being fascinating more about these countries so guys thank you so much for suggesting me this video let me know in which video do you want us to react on in the next reaction video subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed yet Press the bell icon because we are dropping videos every day for you guys. Make sure that you are following us on Facebook and Instagram as well. I will give you the link in the description box. And thank you so much guys for your love and support. And let us know uh, how do you like our channel. If you love our channel, uh, let us know in comment down below that bro, we love your channel. Or if you don't love, if there is something is lack, you can let me know that bro, this this thing you should change I think so it's good I'm really friendly with you guys and you guys are also really cool as he said that these people are really friendly and welcoming and that's really good when you hear something from another country's people so guys whatever I don't want to make this video more longer I will see you in the next video Baba Jumrukli